This could be the sensation of the decade. Scientists may have just discovered extraterrestrial life with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. This news is spreading like wildfire through the media, and if it's true, it will change everything we know about life in the universe. Are we really on the verge of confirming the existence of extraterrestrial life? What kind of planet is it? Stay tuned to learn the exciting details and see fascinating depictions of the potential alien planet. Welcome everyone. It was somehow clear that we would discover extraterrestrial life before GTA 6 is released. But jokes aside, if cosmic discoveries fascinate you as much as they do me, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free, you'll never miss a new video, and you'll be helping me out in a big way. Thanks guys! Imagine you're standing on the beach, breathing in the fresh sea air. The characteristic smell of the sea often comes from a compound called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS for short. On Earth, this substance is produced by marine plankton and is considered a clear biomarker, meaning an indication of biological activity. You'll never catch me, Krabs. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. And it's precisely this substance that may now have been discovered on an exoplanet called K218b. This exoplanet was originally discovered in 2015 by the Kepler Space Telescope and is only 124 light years away from Earth. Cosmically speaking, that's a stone's throw away. With a radius about 2.6 times larger than Earth's and a mass of about 8.6 Earth masses, it belongs to the category of super-Earths or sub-Neptunes, depending on its exact composition. The exciting thing about K218b is that it orbits its star, a red dwarf in the so-called habitable zone, i.e. at a distance where liquid water can theoretically exist. As early as 2019, the planet made its first waves in the scientific community when researchers discovered water vapor in its atmosphere. And even back then, scientists wondered if K218b could possibly be a so-called Hycean planet, a word mix of hydrogen and ocean. This hypothetical class of planets describes worlds that are covered by a gigantic so ocean and enveloped by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Practically a planet whose surface is entirely made of water. This is what K218b might look like. Let me know in the comments if you would move there if you had the chance. A new life begins on a super-Earth who would be up for it. In 2023, a team led by Dr. Nico Madhusudan from the University of Cambridge caused a stir when they used the James Webb Telescope to study the planet's atmosphere and discovered not only water vapor, but also carbon dioxide and methane. But what appeared at the time as only a weak signal and was doubted by many scientists was the first trace of dimethyl sulfide, a substance produced on Earth mainly by marine plankton. Now the same team of researchers has been given more time at the James Webb Telescope. And this time, the sensation is many times greater. With the significance of three sigma, meaning a 99.7% probability that it is not a random signal, they have taken another measurement of the methyl sulfide. Dr. Nikomata Sudan explains the significance of this discovery as follows. This is an exciting moment. The detection of DMS on a planet like K218b is of enormous significance, as this compound is almost exclusively of biogenic origin on Earth. The team hopes to achieve a 5 sigma detection, the scientific gold standard that would reduce the probability of a random signal to 0.06% with another 16 to 24 hours of observation time on the James Webb telescope. Only then can we speak of a definitive discovery, but even so, we already have a probability of 99.7%. So, in fact, the deal is sealed, as one might scientifically say. With near certainty, we have discovered dimethyl sulfide on an exoplanet. But wait, before everyone breaks out into collective jubilation, what does this discovery mean? Have we just discovered extraterrestrial life? Alien? Plankton? Welcome, brethren! Hey, look here, buddy! It's Cousin Plankton! Yeah! yeah! Possibly, but caution is advised. Even though DMS is mainly produced by living organisms on Earth, abiotic, i.e. non-biological processes could also be at work on an alien planet with completely different environmental conditions, producing the compound. In fact, last year, DMS was even detected in the dust and gas of the definitely inanimate comet shurimov gerasimenko which somewhat calls into question the suitability of DMS as a clear biomarker, as Nora Henny, 
A chemist at the University of Bern who led the Comet analysis said, if we want to rely on such simple molecules as biomarkers, we need all the information we can get. There's also a strange aspect to this discovery. The measured concentration of DMS on K218b appears to be about 20 times higher than on Earth. This could indicate that massive processes are underway that produce this compound, whether biological or not. So either we have a gigantic inhabited super-Earth teeming with alien marine organisms that produce dimethyl sulfide in huge quantities or an exotic source of dimethyl sulfide that we simply do not yet know or understand. I used an AI tool to create a dimethyl sulfide alien organism from K218b. Such a behemoth would certainly produce huge amounts of the compound, wouldn't it? Write in the comments what we should name this alien species. I'm still undecided. Well, we should also consider that K218b is not an Earth-like planet. While our Earth has a solid rocky core and is surrounded by a thin layer of atmosphere, K218b looks completely different. With its radius and mass, it is closer to Neptune than to Earth. Its enormous gravitational field would make life as we know it impossible. Living beings there would have to cope with pressures many times greater than ours. Dr. Oliver Shortle from the University of Cambridge sums up the challenges of interpretation. Everything we know about planets orbiting other stars comes from the tiny amounts of light reflected from their atmospheres. So it's an incredibly weak signal that we have to search not only for signs of life, but also for everything else. And there are even alternative explanations for the nature of the planet. Christopher Klein, a planetary scientist at the Southwest Research Institute, recently released a preprint suggesting that K218b might have a vast magma ocean. This could surround a large rocky core, which would be a completely different scenario from the water world hypothesis advocated by Dr. Mathesudan and his team. In that case, we would probably not find life, or perhaps only magma organisms that would be completely unlike life on Earth. Glein expressed his skepticism to the New York Times, it would take a lot to convince me that there is life on this planet. Unless we see ET waving at us, it's not going to be a sensation. But even if it turns out that the DMS signal actually originates from biological processes, what could that mean for life on K218b? Due to the extreme conditions there, it would most likely be limited to microbial organisms. Perhaps similar to the plankton in our oceans, but adapted to a completely alien environment. The discovery also raises interesting questions about the habitability of planets orbiting red dwarf stars. For a long time, scientists believed that these stars could be quite problematic for life, as they tend to erupt violently, especially in their early years, which would literally boil away the atmospheres of nearby planets. If K218b does indeed harbor life, it would mean that red dwarfs, which are the most common type of star in our galaxy, accounting for 73% of all stars, could well have life-friendly planets. And that is an exciting perspective, because about 80% of these stars have planets in the habitable zone. So if life is possible on a planet only 124 light years away, then the entire galaxy could be teeming with life forms. And now it gets really exciting. At the same time, this could also provide an explanation for the Fermi paradox, i.e. the question of why we have not yet found any signs of life despite the sheer number of potentially habitable planets. If most habitable planets are massive Hesian worlds with enormous gravity and no landmass, then organisms living there could literally be trapped in their oceans with no way to develop technology or travel into space. I mean, space travel is already a difficult and uh, long-term endeavor for us. Now imagine if we were living at the bottom of the ocean and fighting against massive gravity from there. The path to the stars would be even trickier then. So, it's somehow a fascinating thought. The universe could be teeming with life, but complex, intelligent life forms capable of contacting us might be extremely rare because they are stuck on their massive Hycean worlds. We might not be alone in the universe, but possibly one of the very, very few civilizations that can actually reach the stars. Thank you, dear evolution, for making us land-dwelling creatures. But back to the current research. What are the next steps? Dr. Madhusudan's team that plans further observations with the James Webb Telescope to confirm the DMS signal. At the same time, chemists and planetary scientists are working to find or, or rule out alternative non-biological explanations for the formation of these compounds under the conditions of K218b. If you want to stay up to date on the topic, and a lot will happen in the next few weeks, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. And speaking of mysterious discoveries, in my latest video, I take a look at a spectacular discovery on Mars. There is also the possibility that we have found traces of life there with a rover. So is even our neighboring planet, full of microbes.
Click on the video that appears in the top right to find out and check out the exciting original footage from Mars. And if you click on the bottom right, you'll find another exciting video about science and space. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.